Hello, people. Hello, people. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell, man. Yeah, no coil. <laughs> Hello, everybody. We are back for post payback. Hope everyone is uh, was had a good bank holiday weekend. Hope everyone's yep. had a good week. How are you, Dan? I'm all, I'm all right now. It's the weekend. Yeah, some people get a weekend off. Yeah. Some people get weekends off because they work normal jobs. <laughs> I have a normal uh, job, it's just not a normal working week. Well, that is my working week. My weekend yeah. is one day. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, we're going to talk about what happened Sunday night. Um, I don't know if you... I didn't actually see anything of Raw on SmackDown. I, I haven't even looked at what actually happened. I don't know. No, I know a couple of lily bits, but yeah. Well, you can enlighten me then, because I think for the well, Monday, Tuesday, I was just dead. Mm. <laughs> it's been a long week, I think, for both of us. It but. has, yeah. It's been a very long week. Um, but mm, payback itself. What did you f- reckon? on that well I've pulled up a nice little quote from WWE.com which I think is hilarious do tell WWE Payback was an unforgettable event with unbelievable twists turns and horrors <laughs> 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 yeah okay yeah yeah alright then um, was, um, I don't know I wasn't too I wasn't too transfixed on this one no um, it was the most weirdest pay-per-view I have so ever awesome. seen um, there was a With quote so many fuck-ups oh but there, there was I I tweet well I had a look on the tweets for hashtag house of horrors we'll get on to that match later on but yeah. I've just got to let you know on this tweet that I thought it was absolutely brilliant um, it said um, that the the latest um, that this was the worst horror film WWE studios have made and considering what came was in what it was it Ceno Evil, Ceno Evil and Ceno Evil Two, yeah. he did yeah, yeah, they they weren't exactly uh, scary. I, I I haven't seen um, Ceno Evil Two, but I I quite enjoyed the first one. It I was, enjoyed it. It was a very good film. It, it, was, it, was, it wasn't it wasn't frightening. No, 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 no. no. It, it, it was more it was more of a thriller, really, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Um, right. This probably is going to be a very very short stream because we, we haven't really got a lot to say on this pay-per-view no uh, I do have a few things to say about the upcoming pay-per-view considering we thought it was going to be bad blood yeah and it not. isn't yeah but we'll get on to that um, are you still there or are you uh, I'm with it yep yep, yep you just it's, the quality is a little bit shite today yeah um, yeah that's fine um, right, uh, I didn't see the kickoff show. No, uh, so I don't even know who won that. I don't even know why. Uh, it uh, was it was Enzo and Cass that won. Right, that's fine. Jeff Scott and Anderson. Right, um, and then also uh, Finn was on Miz TV. Right, and decided to take out Miz. Okay, Miz. so that might turn into something coming up. Uh, yeah, yeah, Miz. Um, so the first match um, of the pay-per-view was Owens and Jericho for the US title a weird one to start on it was a weird one to start on and it was very short I noticed yeah it was very short it was a very quick match it was alright I said it was Um, good it was a good match um, but it it, it could have been a little bit longer run a little longer yeah Yeah. Um, but Owens who is a man that when he first came onto main roster, managed to survive John Cena about 500 pins. Yeah. But somehow loses to Jericho within whatever. I don't even know how long it was. But I, it think I, it, I think it was only about. It was definitely less than 10 minutes. Yeah. Easy. Which for a championship match is. Giant. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Um, but we were both right on that with Jericho winning. Mm. Um, he has now gone to SmackDown, and I didn't notice that. Owens was at SmackDown on Tuesday. Yes. For some bizarre reason. We thought this obviously. was going to be the end of this uh, rivalry, being that Jericho's going to SmackDown, but obviously not. Obviously not. 
So I think they're going to drag this one out. Um, but that, it was an all right match. Um, mm. Well, at this point, if they drag it out, it's got to be SummerSlam, isn't it? Because that be not the, a joint pay per view. That's the next. Yeah, that's the next joint pay per view. Is SummerSlam? Yeah. Yeah. So they've got to, if, if we're right and they're going to keep this up mm. and they're going to end it at a pay per view, which is what they normally do. Yeah. Then this has to be kept up until SummerSlam, so I fucking hope not. Because that's that's ages away. Well, well SummerSlam, what is August? Is it SummerSlam? August, yeah, yeah, I think it's August, yeah. Yeah. So we, we'd have to wait for what? Uh, well, we've got to wait three another months? three months for that, so. Can you imagine? Th- oh, dear. Anyway, um, anyway uh, the next match was. Uh, it was the Cruiser it was a Cruiserweight weights. match, wasn't it? Yeah, it was Neville versus Austin Aries. Yeah. Again, uh, another good match, but I just didn't like how it ended. I don't like disqualification endings. No. I never have because it just seems like a cheap. It, well, it's a, it's a cheap way. Of, it's a cheap way of keeping your title, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, and I, I know it doesn't happen a lot. Don't get me wrong. Like, we don't have a lot of disqualification wins, mm-hmm. but when it does happen, I can't help but thinking the writers have just gone. Yeah, and we're disqualified. And yeah. <laughs> it's just like mm-hmm. I don't know what to do with this, so uh, yeah. disqualified. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I think basically what they say: Well, we want lost. We want Aries to win, but we don't want him to have the title. Yeah. So we just DQ him. So we're just DQ him. Yeah. Which is stupid. Yeah, stupid. Stupid. Um. So we both rock with that one for him winning, mm. but we were both wrong on him keeping the title. Well, winning the title. Yeah. Uh, the next match was the. Was it a tag team? Match? Tag team. It was it a was tag team a match. Tag team. Now this was a good match. I think it was mm. one of the best. Well, I think it was the best match of the night, really. It was plus, um, obviously, tooth. So yes, uh, yeah. Uh, Jeff did lose a tooth. He lost a tooth. Uh, that was a hell of a. Hit. <laughs> I'm not surprised he lost a tooth. <laughs> he lost a tooth, and I was—I I don't know—I almost felt a little bit of enjoyment out of it because it's like, yeah, someone lost a tooth or someone got an injury for a change that was legitimate and not getting into story. Like, yeah, um, yeah, there wasn't a lot of blood, but you could definitely see there was blood around his teeth. And yeah, there was a definite gap near the front. Mm. <laughs> so. I think I think Jeff has now lost his good looks. He has, <laughs> but. Um, you were right on that one, and I was wrong. Mm-hmm. I'm, um, I'm three for three. You are. You're three for three. I'm two for three. Yeah. On this one, uh, yeah, the Hardy Boys retained. Um, I was quite surprised actually that they they they've retained it again. Really, it's it's what I wanted, obviously, but yeah. um, it just shows that they're going to stick around for a bit longer. Well, so yeah. every, every time they retain, I'm just happy because yeah. you know. Well, apparently, um, <clears throat> um, they are. Confirming that they're going to be bringing Broken Matt's gimmick to WWE, which I think is mm. really good. Yeah, um, as long as they don't fuck it up and ruin it. See, I hope I hope they don't. I hope they if if they let Matt do it himself. Be Matt, yeah, because he's the then, one that knows it best. Yeah, if they let Matt do it himself um, and don't have any of the writers get get involved in that gimmick at all, then it's going to be absolutely bang on. Yeah. Um, if the writers get involved with it, and I think it, it would just be, it would be like when they brought the NWO back. It would be overdone. I say when WWE had the NWO. Oh yeah, well. Um, it would either be overdone or it would be so cheesy. Yeah. And like corny, mm. and no one's going to take it for what it is. And yeah. So please but, don't. I say, I say, I do, I do hope Matt has full control on that. Yeah. Same. Um, the next match was the women's title. Am I right with that one? Uh, yes, yes. yes Alexa Bisplay, yeah. Yeah. Um, hmm. I was a bit upset about this one. I was. Bailey's yeah. hometown, innit? Bailey's hometown, she lost the title. Yeah, out of order. We were both wrong. <laughs> yeah, um, we were both wrong, <laughs> I'm wrong now, yeah. Um. I mean, Alexa Bliss is she's she's a great wrestler and all that. I mean, but I mean now she's the only woman to have 
held SmackDown and now the Raw Women's title. Right. Um, so her head's just going like that. I can't take her seriously in the ring though. Still, no, no. It's I don't know. I don't even know how to explain it. It's uh, just too. It, I don't know. What, what bitch get, fighty? Yeah. What what gets it with me is the whole Harley Quinn look. Oh yeah. Well, that was always. <laughs> I mean, I've got I've got over that to a point now, but I haven't got over her kind of whatever. This this kind of story written attitude she has. This I'll slap someone across the face and I'll yeah. just shout profanities on in the ring for twenty minutes. And, oh, I'll get sick of it. I'll get sick of hearing it. Mm-hmm. But uh, she is a good wrestler. She is a good wrestler. I mean, um, I'll say obviously well deserved the title, but yeah, I think it was a bit harsh for for them for for Bailey to drop it in her hometown. Yeah, if, if she could have won harsh. it on Raw the next night or something. Yeah. Um, I mean that that ovation that that Bailey had when her music hit mm. is just incredible, really. Yeah, and I could and you could tell that the fans were pretty pissed. Mm. Mm. Um, next match was um, oh, it was the start <laughs> of the House of Horrors match. Yes. So let let where the first fuck part do we start with this? Uh, <laughs> It was a crock of shit. Mm. I like the fact that how it was... Oh, fuck, what did I just drop there? <laughs> I've dropped some... Oh, it's my phone. Oh, hang on. <laughs> His beer's all over the floor. No, he's got beer's all over the floor. I just haven't got a lot of, ca- lot of room length for my cable. Um, yeah, um, I like the fact that it was half um, live and half filmed yeah so I like the concept um, is that that was nice that was a bit different that was almost a little little nod back like yeah. you wanted um, but it was the fact of how cheesy and God, shite it was, it was. <laughs> also it's amazing how it was dark at 6.30 at night yeah in America yeah well done guys mm. Um, How and, the fuck do you fuck that up for a start? <laughs> and the fact as well of um, to make the outside of the house really scary was to put it in blue lights. Yeah. Which which house have you seen is constantly in blue lights ever? <laughs> who puts their who puts their house under a blue light? I mean, all that needed that all that house needed was a set of twenty inch rims, and it would look like something out of Fast and Furious. Mm. I'm glad it wasn't UV light because otherwise we might have seen some weird marks on the walls and stuff and we might have had to ask questions but um, I um, don't know the, I didn't mind the whole um, baby room thing yeah the baby room thing that, that, that was alright right. that, that I all mean right. it was a bit weird yeah, I, mean, yeah, I think was it was a bit, bit too much for PG-13 yeah I was saying the, ba- the, the, the doll with two heads and there was another one with yeah, scissors still... in it and things like that yeah um, but and the, uh, yeah but I mean the uh, the whole bit of it trying wasn't... to trap um, mm. Randy underneath the fridge. Yeah, poor fridge. But I like the fact as well that um, he missed with the fridge, <laughs> and then you see the fridge move while Randy's trying to put it on top of himself. <laughs> Which do you know what's really re- look? This is the whole thing I was just about to come on to, right? The the <laughs> the way it was filmed. And considering we know this was filmed a couple of days before, right? So surely, surely for a start with that fridge thing, they could have got looked it back and gone, no, we haven't done that right. Can we redo that bit, please, guys, and make yeah. it look a bit better? Why the fuck they keep that bit in? I don't get it. Just refilm it. You'd filmed it. To... Anyway, and the way it was filmed and all of that, and the fact the music followed them round. Yeah. So, yeah. what? <laughs> so... Oh, it was just so. I did. Well I did done. see the. I did see the best picture. Um, it revealed who uh, Bray's driver was, mm. and it was a picture of when Taker drove that hearse one time. <laughs> Apparently, it was him who was driving Bray to the arena. <laughs> <laughs> and um, it's just like look, they did it so much better back then because the. What was it when? Um, Oh, what fight was it where it started in ring, mm-hmm. 
and then one of them got in a vehicle and drove off and the other one followed them in a car and then every now and then through the pay-per-view you were following the bit of this car chase and then they stopped and then they got back to the ring that what w- match was that that was god you're going back a bit now that was I am. um that was gold dust and rowdy roddy piper yes that that was good because it started somewhere where it made sense yeah and then you came back to it in intervals and yeah all right it was all pre-shot mm. but i mean it, it was cle- that was clever how they done that because you had like they they did it like it was um like a mixture between the um a, like a news crew and yeah. like one of them police camera action videos yeah yeah you, know, you had the helicopter going over the top filming the cars going down yeah. the freeway and things like that, that was clever yeah, this was utter it shite. Was <laughs> and the fact that they both got in, let's be honest, cabs to get back to uh, the ring in the middle of a fight. But then there's the other thing as well. How did Randy get back to the ring when he was oh, well, we'll, stuck under a fridge? We'll, but we'll move on we'll to, move that, on to I that. that. I suppose in a second. Um, but anyway, yeah, that yeah. was the first part. That was the like. first part of it. So while Bray was on his way <coughs> on his way to the arena. Uh, we had Seth versus Samoa Joe. Yeah. Which was, again, another good match. I think uh, that team with the tag team match, I think, was the two best matches of the night. Oh, do you know what? I'm going to go completely against you. Are you? Uh, I, thought, I, I, I thought the match was alright, but um, it was the way they did it. Or the, I don't think it was Rollins or Joe's fault either way too much, but it did look really scripted for some reason for me. Yeah, I see. Yeah, I can see what you mean with that. Um, a little bit. It was a good match. It was, but it just took it away from me. With the, I couldn't get into it a little bit because yeah. there was a lot of like checking for stuff. Yeah, there was the, a lot. The, of... the, the, I, I can, I can see an entire episode of Botch of Botchamania just being on that just one match. For that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was a bit, it was, and as I say, I don't think it was. Uh, all Rollins' fault, all Joe's fault, or no. anything. I just don't think they haven't fought a lot together. I think they've fought like three times before, mm. and uh, I don't uh, think the chemistry is quite there yet. No, but um, we were both wrong on that one. We were wrong. We were both wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, Seth came out with the win. Um, mm. It was just interesting because it makes me wonder what they're going to do with Joe. Mm. But. but. Anyway, we'll. Uh, it's what it is. We'll move back to when um, <laughs> Bray and Randy end up in the, the ring. The return. Or the return. Um, obviously, Bray makes his way down to the ring. Next minute, Randy's behind him. <laughs> uh, they have a, a bit of a scuffle in the ring. Mm. And then. Um, Jinder Mahal's little two little bitches turn up. Jinder smacks around the back of the end of the belt. Gets yeah. Sister Abigail. Mm. One, two, three, done. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I felt actually fell asleep through that match. I I did. I, I <laughs> switched off. When they got back to the ring, I switched off entirely. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Everyone watching this, I wasn't paying attention. No. I, I, really I, was. I, I, think, I think I was mainly on my phone watching YouTube at that time. Yeah, I think I was <laughs> through Facebook or something. But they're, they're moving back to my quotes off of WWE.com for this video, um, we can now follow that up with how they described this match. And I, I don't think they're wrong, I just think they've got it from the wrong angle. They mm-hmm. said it was uh, that Orton and Break appeared in the first ever House of Horrors match that the WWE Universe will soon not forget. Yeah, you're right, because yeah. it was shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, this is a big statement and I'll even say that the Punjabi prison prison match was better than that. Oh, I liked the Punjabi prison match. There was only two of them. I know, I like it. The thing is, they can't really do that anymore without uh, Carly anymore, could they? No. No, because it was his thing. It's the same same with um, putting someone else in a Buried Alive match. Rather than yeah. say, oh God, no! If they ever, <laughs> ever did that, like, oh. <laughs> but so Bray obviously won. Bray obviously won, uh, and which um, we predicted correct. We I believe. did. Yes, we both did. Um, but um, yeah, 
all told, that was the shittiest match of the Bay I mean, fair enough, they tried. They tried, they and failed miserably. Before, I'm sure they thought it was going to be good and, yeah, alright, it could have been better. Hmm. It, it just didn't work, sorry. No. Nah. Um, so, WWE, don't you ever do a House of Horrors match ever a fucking get. Or if do it properly. Yeah, please. Like, like keep the daytime. Like the yeah, same. Keep, 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 the, keep it at the right time of day. If the scenes aren't looking right, reshoot them. Like, yeah. you know, spend that extra however much it would be to reshoot it. Yeah, exactly. Um, then the main event was Roman Reigns versus Strowman. I was actually quite shocked about this one. In what way? Because I thought it would be Vince loves Roman. Vince loves Roman so, so much. That, and, yet, uh, and yet Strowman came out victorious yeah which means he has a new sweaty man that's a big sweaty man what culture's little nod there mm, but that is Vince a big sweaty man still loves big sweaty man yeah Vince could do a lot with that big sweaty man he could mm. yeah absolutely I reckon that big <clears> sweaty <throat> man would snap Vince in half <laughs> um, no that was a, that was a good match um, it definitely it it definitely shows what Roman can do while being half broken, um, but it also shows just how dominating Strowman is. Yeah, they're definitely pushing him now, and that's a good yeah. thing because we want that back at like Mania. Like, oh yeah, yeah. I that. mean, um, I mean that um, bit with the steps where he <laughs> smashed him onto his chest. I even felt that. <laughs> yeah, and and even if that were, I mean, we know it's all fake, but when you make it either look realistic or you trust the person enough to actually do it half yeah. properly, mm. that's what makes a good match to me. Yeah. So yeah, it was a good match. I think they um, let Reigns kick out a bit too much. I mean that that kick out um, of, from the first slam. Yeah. It was a very very tough kick out because he just sort of. Well, he I can't. Like, yeah, very. It yeah, wasn't up, was it or no, over? I, I just think kind I, of lifted a hand. I up. say I think I think he was pretty much shagged at that point. I think he was fucked. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But it, as I say, there is a respected nod, as you say, to Reigns for that match mm. because, yeah, he I don't. Hard. I don't think we're gonna see Reigns for a little bit now. I think he well, might have some time out. No, um, and he has to I think yeah I mean don't get me wrong we've said this before I don't think Reigns has necessarily been uh, agreed to all the stuff he's been put in or how he's done stuff or anything like that but he has been absolutely shagged I mean fucking he's been on nearly every fucking pay-per-view yeah he hasn't been stopped they just pushed well, him I say push. he's pretty much he's pretty much been on the ball well on the run mm -hmm. since Mania thirty one. Yeah. Since his match with Brock, mm. he's just he's just kept going really. Yeah. And he, uh, he needs he needs to, he needs some fucking time out. He needs out. some time I'm out now. I'm surprised he has not been off on injury that Brock, much. Prior, yeah. Prior Probably. to this, yeah. No. Um. Well, that was payback. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm sure if you're watching this, you you kind of get why we kind of brush through this. Yeah, we didn't find it all that well, great. We 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 never do really with payback. I mean, this is what this is the third payback now, and all three of them have been shit. Mm. It's always it always as what I said last time. It always seems to be the way. It's just like the come down after Mania. Yeah, it's, this it? is always the slow period. Yeah, it's well, like computer games. The start of the year is the quiet bit. This yeah. is what it's the quiet bit of wrestling. Yeah, I say the, these next couple of months. Before SummerSlam, will be the the, the sort of don't, don't the, expect a lot of enthusiastic video. No, no, I think SummerSlam is going to be the next one where we we're proper hyped, <laughs> yeah. and then after that it will be uh, it will be Survivor Series. That's when we're next to proper hyped. <laughs> yes. It's normally the Big Four. That's when we're that's when the Big Four. We're usually really big at yeah. Yeah. Um, but what I uh, what I touched on earlier is obviously when we spoke last time um, about what was supposed to be bad blood mm. returning on the 9th of July. Yeah. 
It is no longer going to be bad blood. No, it is not. It can't. Be, it can be the worst title to a pay per view ever. Take it away, James. WWE and Raw present Great Balls of Fire. I mean, <laughs> fuck's sake! What happened to our cool ones like Armageddon and like? Well, Bad Blood was perfect. We haven't seen Bad Blood since twenty four, uh, two thousand and four. Bad Blood would have been absolutely perfect. Great balls no, we've of gone fire. For a, a semi homosexual. Well, we've gone for a um, touch to a, a song that. Yeah, who, who sang it? Rock I rock can't rock. remember who sang it now. Um, know, just classic rock and roll. Yeah. Um, all that it reminds me of, I saw a picture, um, and it reminds me of that time when Kane um, electrocuted Shane's bollocks. <laughs> That's always going to remind maybe, me of now. Maybe that would be the entry vid for the program. <laughs> <laughs> I do hope they actually have the Great Balls of Fire song as the theme song. No, I don't want it. <laughs> I, don't it. I don't want it at all. I think, for fuck's sake. How many people I mean, have uh, sat in the room this time to make that decision? Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually have a look um, to see if they've got the um, soundtrack. Yeah, hang on. Um, how, how many people? Go on. How many people do you think sat in a room and said that was a good decision? Ah, oh, well, knowing WWE, it would have been all of them. I I think there was a good fifteen. A good fifteen. Good fifteen people made that decision. Yeah, um, and I bet they sat in an office for at least six months. <laughs> Hang on, I'm just trying to find the theme song. Oh no, you search away. I'm still trying to get my head around the fact that this is what it's called. <laughs> this is going. Oh, Jerry Lee Lewis was uh, who, who sung "Great Balls of Fire." There you go. Right. Hang on. Apparently, this is going to be. I'm just going to play a quick, a short, short clip of it. But apparently this Make is. Make sure it's not over seven seconds. It won't be over seven. Oh fuck it! It's not going to be that one then. Never mind. It didn't want to play. <laughs> Hang on. Ah. Right. This may be it. You shake my nerves and you rattle my brain. It is. You must love as a man insane. You broke my will. I got a thrill. Do you know what this means as well? You've got to put um. You thought I'd put like great balls of fire predictions. <coughs> I mean, you've actually got to write this. I know. Um, so the theme song to Great Balls of Fire is going to be Jerry Lee Lewis' "Great Balls of Fire." <laughs> oh, fuck <laughs> oh my giddy aunt. Um Well, we'll wait for that then. Yeah. Um, hang on. In anticipation. Anticipation. Christ, um, have they actually got any matches for it yet? Um, da -da 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 -um. Doesn't look like they've got any matches for it yet because there's nothing on. There's no. Um, no wiki page for it. Um, hang on. There's a reason for that. No one wants to fucking make one. Yeah, exactly. Um, hang on. Let's just go right down. Where we at? I think we're being a bit harsh, but look, you know, when you look back at your bad blood, yeah, your Armageddon. Well, appa well apparently, um, it, it's been changed on Wiki from bad blood to Great Balls of Fire, but it's not blue, so I can't click on it. Um, okay. Apparently, the main event is going to be someone versus Lesnar. Right. Lesnar will be at. Great balls of fire. <laughs> got to say, we got to try and find a way of changing the, how we say this. Um, <laughs> um, G so, boff. G boff. <laughs> great boff. <laughs> they be hit the great boff. Um, so, uh, so the next pay per view will be on the twenty first of May. Twenty first yeah. this month will be Backlash. Hosted yep. by SmackDown. Main event of that is Randy Orton versus Jinder Mahal. Okay. Um, let's just have a look. See if there's any matches for that. Mister Nakamura, he, he will be there. 
Oh, there you go. You'll you'll watch it then. Oh, definitely. Um, he, he's going to be he's going to be in a singles match, but I don't know who against. Um, oh, apparently um, this must have happened on SmackDown. Kevin Owens is Universal Champion, uh, not Universal, uh, United States Champion again. Well, there you go then. And he's going to be facing AJ Styles. Oh, AJ. Mm. We haven't seen a lot of AJ. We haven't seen a lot of AJ. Um, the Usos are mm-hmm. putting up their tag team titles against Breezango. Right, so they're retained. We fucking hope. We hope. Oh, and obviously Ra- Rand- uh, Randy's up against Jinder for the yeah. WWE title. Okay, so... Yeah, well, we're, we will... Uh, return in a couple of weeks mm-hmm. um, we've actually got Extreme Rules as well on the 4th of June hosted, by, hosted by Raw delightful then on the 18th of June we've got Money in the Bank hosted by Smackdown ok so actually we tell a lie We're, that's alright yeah Extreme um, Rules and Money in the Bank yeah fair yeah, play we've got, we got, we got Backlash next Extreme Rules mm-hmm. Money in the Bank Good boff. Yeah. Uh, then Battleground hosted by SmackDown, and then twentieth of August we've got SummerSlam. Yeah. Of all the places to do Great Balls of Fire, they're doing it in Dallas. I'm just seeing a trend here. <laughs> no, sorry. Uh, yeah. Um, I'm not sold. No. I mean, we'll watch it because we'll watch you know, it because it's it's a new pay per view. Something yeah. something may happen. Uh, we we just bleh, bleh. <laughs> I can't see this being. I'll a... just. Do you know what? I can't wait for the serious promo at the start. Oh my god, that's going to be hilarious! How are they going to make that promo serious with a name like that? Oh, I can't wait. Actually, no. Fuck it. I'm really looking forward to this. I want to see if it falls it up completely, and it would be the most cheesiest fucking promo. You know when, you know when, like the the logo comes swooping in. Yeah. Goes, do you, do you, WWE do you Network they, presents. Do you, yeah. Do you think they're going to get their normal, really manly man voice on it? Great balls of fire. And then WWE the fire Network presents great balls of fire. <laughs> No, I'm looking forward to it now. Actually, it'd be a good laugh. I'll tell you what, we are gonna, uh, we are gonna, I uh, will eat that if if this if that is, ends up being a really good pay per view. It probably will because it's just it. Usually, when we think something's going to be shit, it it isn't. Apart from House of Horrors match, we guarantee well, yeah, that. But, yeah. But sometimes we are surprised. Yeah. But hopefully, we are surprised. Yeah, hopefully. Um, I just hope it doesn't turn out something like when WWE attempted to to do a Great American Bash. Yeah. Which obviously was a WCW grown yeah. pay-per-view. Then didn't go down too well. No, then WWE attempted to do it and basically balls that one up as well. Yeah. It was exactly the same with Extreme Rules, really, because obviously that was One Night Stand, wasn't it? Yeah. Usually One Night Stand. And after ECW did their two which were brilliant 2005-2006 and then WWE decided to do their own one night stand pay per view <clears throat> and we all remember that so mm. I, 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 Extreme Rules right so I usually get really hyped up for Extreme Rules and then get really disappointed because yeah. it's not as extreme as I ever want it to be <laughs> uh, I don't think it's ever going to be it as extreme as it as it was when, no, it, when, I it, when it was one night stand. You always hope. <laughs> you, can, you can hope. You can hope, but that's that's all you're gonna get. Hope. <laughs> um, so yes, that's pretty much it. I mean, we haven't really got that much else to say, really. Uh, no, not at the moment. We're in that kind of mid period yeah. for pay per views. Yeah. So. Um. Anyway, uh, so we'll be back. Before backlash, obviously, with them, uh, with our predictions on backlash. Um, yep. If you would like to see any of our other podcasts, there is a playlist on my YouTube channel. The link will be somewhere. 
<laughs> around here. Around here or somewhere. Um, obviously, check out the merchandise, things like this. I'm quite disappointed, actually. Quite peed off. Why? What's wrong? After buying this flat mm -hmm. thing, my company has now decided to bring out normal baseball caps. <laughs> so now you look like a knobhead when you could have had a normal baseball cap. <laughs> Not happy. <laughs> um, cool. Yeah, so check out the merchandise. Uh, everything's on there. Uh, I think I have a discount code coming soon. I think at the end of this month, I think it is, or beginning of the next month, for, I think it'll be two for one, I think it is anyway. Um, but I'll, that'll be... I'll let you know on Facebook. Um, also check out if check out my YouTube channel, check out my Facebook page, like, share, subscribe. Hit up Dan on his Facebook page and Twitter as well. Dan, you have Twitter as well, don't you now? I do. At uh, something. <laughs> we'll we we'll sort I'll, that I'll, out. I'll, 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 hang on, hang on. Have I'll, a look. I'll, 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 you can tell though that if you want to like a page, just like Facebook. Yeah, you can because catch. You I can, don't you can, use Twitter. You can you can catch Dan easier on on Facebook than you Facebook. can on Twitch. Uh, yeah. Twitch, Twitter. Twitter. Uh, hang on. Um, Dan's uh, Twitter tag is at DJ Green two five ninety. There you go. So, um, but if you want to if you want to catch Dan, then find him on Facebook. Um, yeah. <laughs> It'd be fucking easier. <laughs> um, also, as well, Dan's own channel should be coming out shortly. Am I yes. right? Yes. How short are we talking? Uh, uh, probably a couple of weeks. Yeah, oh, 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 a couple of weeks. A oh, couple of weeks for his debut video. Da, 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 da. Oh, Oh! If you if you want to give us some ideas of what to do, then by all means, just comment on James's uh, videos on YouTube or whatever. Mm -hmm. We'll have a look. Yeah. Um, just before we go, I'd like to say a big thank you to all the likes on YouTube that we've had from the uh, from the predictions payback video. I think we've had about seventeen likes on that, so I'm, yep. I'm really really thankful for that. Thank you very much. Um, and obviously as well thank you for all my subscribers as well we've hit nearly what, what we just under uh 1200 subscribers now yay <laughs> um i noticed uh, I, I said last time as well uh, i applied for my twitch partnership mm -hmm. i had an email back unfortunately they haven't given me twitch partnership at this time but they have told me to keep applying Okay. Because if I keep applying, they'll know I am interested. <laughs> um, but no, but uh, Twitch. If you are watching, then I will be. I will keep applying, and hopefully one day you'll you'll give me that bit of bit of nudge. The the honour. The honour of, the honor of being a Twitch partner. I will be. Ha I will be grateful for that. Um, that's pretty much it, really. It is. It is. Yes. So thank you very much, Dan. Thank you very much, James. And we will see you next time. Ta-ta, people. Ta-ta, everyone. Ta-ta.